So, hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. And as you can tell, we are barefaced. This is my <coughs> sister. I'm gonna pop her Instagram down below. So, we asked a few questions on, on Instagram because we wanted to do like a get ready with me while answering questions. Let's start. start. First, we're gonna show you our makeup bags. This is mine. Well, this is like, I know about like full face. Not really full face. Like every day, yeah. yeah. So this, my pouch is from work. Actually, we have the same pouch. Yeah. Mini Mine, so? Mini so. Yeah. Mini so. so there, it's quite it. filled. <laughs> well, first, we have to obviously sanitize the hands. So now I wipe my face first with a um, towelette because even if I already washed my face, sometimes it, you know, I'm paranoid like there's still dirt in there. That all of my, my, or my entire face is like cleanse as well. I usually prime, but then what's the point of priming? We're not no, even going this, anywhere. This is literally day three of oh, NCOV, guys, yeah, so we're not going anywhere. Since I'm not gonna prime, I first do my brows, even though I really don't know how to do my brows. I don't do my brows, but with, so with me, since I'm always out and about, and as you've seen in my vlogs, I've always been a fan of like sunscreen, sunblock, so I go with this. <laughs> We're not okay. booty gurus. And I just bought this, but I also have been using this a lot lately. Just... And this is how it looks like. So I like this because it's super lightweight and it's like water based. Since we're just staying inside the house, let's go for this one. So for my brows, I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4. Yeah, we said, yeah, we're not answering questions. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, um, Don't worry, guys, we're gonna bring Alex with us soon because she's just in the other house and we're gonna do a video with her. So, so someone asked, Do you guys love me? From our brother. Yes. Yeah, we love him. Does Ia still remember me? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Hi, Kay. Hi. <laughs> now that I've laid out the sunscreen, it it feels super lightweight and it sort of like gives you that glowy look. Glowy look. Glowy the girl. And I'm like, you should. I usually I'm go sorry. for like a natural look. So I recently discovered this. This is from I White. It's a BB holic. Um, BB cream. So I use this, and while I'm laying this out, I'm gonna answer one more question. Favorite coffee shop coffee blend? I love. Uh, it's a coffee shop near my place. It's the coffee shop near my place. I super love that coffee shop because it has like food already and it's high ceiling and it. It was, it's the design is very industrialized and then the coffee is like reasonably priced like you would get like a really really tall cup of iced coffee macchiato or something for like a hundred something it doesn't go over like 150 or anything like that it's very affordable and for me I love the ambience I love how the tables are really wide you can just lay out all of your stuff and that's actually called this cafe is called Palette Cafes. They're not open every Monday, which is weird because usually, you know, Monday is like the busiest day. Disclaimer: We are not beauty gurus, so yeah. sorry if this is just our like normal makeup routine. Like yeah. I'm only going for like a natural, natural makeup. Look. It doesn't really have much coverage. So it's a very, very sheer coverage. But the whole point of me putting a BB Jesus cream Christ, my is that. <laughs> Is I don't that know if it, it just evens camera. out my skin? After my BB cream, I proceed to my color corrector for my concealer. And I use this color corrector. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And this is the red shade because, you know, if you're fair skin and you have dark under eyes, you should go for the red one to like cancel out the dark circles. Someone asked, Who's prettier? <laughs> Her. Alex. <laughs> Alex, 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 Alex. I think yeah. we're all pretty it's on true. our own way. Yeah. You don't define beauty as she gonna be inspirational now. I know. I might start making hugot now. Yeah. We're all pretty in our own way, so. Yeah, we don't have. So, if you can't appreciate that, then like, bye, girl, bye. I feel like for me, everyone has. I feel like my browser. Their own, gone. like. Yeah. 
We're pretty in our own ways. Yeah, we're pretty in our own ways. And as long as you know that, and as long as you're a good person, that's all there is to it. And I don't know how to really like do this color correcting. I just put it there and then I dab it with my finger. And then I start with my um, full wear infallible L'Oreal <laughs> concealer. And I also sometimes use my blending it with my sponge. Like, go. I could. I put concealer only on my under eyes. I don't put it like everywhere or like blemishes. Cause like I'm always in a rush when I do my makeup. I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> the next question. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, how strict are your parents? How do you define strict? Like what's like in what basic? So for blush, I'm using my Caroline Multi Pot. This is in the shade Abracadabra, and I'm just gonna use a sponge to like blend it. Cause this one, I love this one. It just gives you a really, really natural look. Depends, cause like for us, for the older kids, it's different already. Obviously. Cause you know, like I'm in college, the others are working. But like for the younger ones, I guess, ah no, the one common ground is like with us girls, it's very strict. Like yes. no sleepovers, yeah. no, it's just that. But then they're not like super strict in the sense that you can't breathe. Yeah, you can't breathe. It's They have their reasons. And also like the time now, it's very different. It's very scary. So like... The best thing we can do is like really listen to our parents. No, I did my brows. <laughs> Guys, I'm just at my brows. Oh my god. Next question. For my... To set my face, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is the shade Classic already, Ivory. You're already baking. I'm just in my brows. I don't bake. I just like mattify. What is the best piece of advice you've received? Honestly, lately... One thing that everyone's been telling me is just take. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> don't cry, don't cry. Oh my god, don't cry. Okay, I'm not gonna cry. I love my concealer. Uh, just take everything one step at a time, like. Mm -hmm. And. I don't know, like. <laughs> um, yeah, because you, you just. Sometimes there are things that you just have to feel, and you just have to let the days pass. There's no other way, like there's no other way to get through something than to just go through it. So you just have to take it one day at a time. The best piece of advice that I've gotten so far is to just take advantage of what I have right now. Especially since I'm a child. And to not grow up quick because, you know, we only live once as a young person age-wise. So yeah, I think it's true that we should just live. Yeah. Want, and no one else can stop us from doing Like if, ah, a while ago when the question was like, if you can go back to what time? I feel like I would like to go back to the time when I was younger. And now that I've mattified my face, sometimes I still add like powder blush or I do my contour first. For my um, contour, I, I still use the Sassy Glam Up Contour and Highlight Kit. I just use the Sculpt. As you can see, I'm all, I'm already hit, hitting pan. I don't always use contour. I just I use it on like if I have events or or if I gained a little weight, <laughs> which would be harder to give up, coffee or alcohol. If I'm gonna be, I can't. Being honest right now. I can't answer that. I'm sorry, I can't answer that. If I'm gonna be so honest right now, none. Because I am functioning with both. How many days do you wear the same pants? Probably one week. <laughs> yeah! I gained weight and I usually just go for like the loose one. So I'm gonna try to contour my nose with this tiny brush. I can't contour my nose. I properly. just go from this part to like lining my nose. My skin, it probably doesn't look that bad on camera, praying, but it's literally crusting off. I can't. So for blush, I'm going to be using Champagne Organic Clay, bl oh clay God, Blush. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Why? So for blush, <laughs> I'm using Clay Blush. Um, you wanna watch a scary movie? Yes. Yes. 
So since my contour is done, I usually I dab more um, blush. And this is the Caroline Oil Control Blush in Berry Pop. That's how it looks like. Sorry, the, the light is just... She just strong. Yeah. So I just dab a bit there. And then dab a bit here. One food you could never bring yourself to eat. Sushi. I don't like sushi. Uh, one thing, one food they can never eat. Sisi. A lot of my friends love that. Because I didn't ever forget whoever said that. Or when we were younger, they would always say that sisig is like a pig's snout or pig's ears. So I know that there's chicken sisig and other things, but like I can. So after putting on the blush, I'm gonna now put um, highlight. This is my e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls. My cheeks. It's your dream job. Psychologist. I know it's gonna be a hard journey for me. I, I honestly, like actual, actual dream, like how, like if I see myself in like 30, 20 years, I do, I like what I'm doing, I like what I'm pursuing, like I'm taking up interior design and everything, but one thing that I feel like, you know, when I wake up, like, and then when I'm old, I feel like I want to be writing, like a oh, lot yeah. of books, yeah, like actually I, I have been writing ever since, and I Right now, I'm just in school and pursuing other things. It's just that, you know, you can always dream a lot of things. But one thing that I do see myself um, doing, like, until I'm old, whether, like, <laughs> it's just me or, like, with a family or something, I feel like I want to be writing, like, books, like, constantly, like, you know. Be putting on some eyeshadow. Lately, I've been trying to explore on the eye makeup scenarios or situation so i go for like this um rosy colored one this one yeah i'm just gonna put that there i'm thankful like we're gonna go back to this video i'm just gonna be so thankful because you helped me get through this week dude yes it's been a rough week guys <laughs> so random it's so random guys this is literally the third day of ncov so we're just like trying trying so hard that's just like so far my my eyeshadow like i don't i don't know yet what i try to do but like just i'm scared to try eyeshadow but i feel like lately i've been enjoying it like I, before i couldn't look at myself straight like what is that but then like i don't know i'm just exploring a lot. i feel like me i'm not really that type to wear like um, eyeshadow like an actual full face like if it comes to eyes i'm more of just like a lashes person person I, one person. thing that i'm not like i don't think i'll be exploring anytime soon is my eyebrows like i'm not the girl that does eyebrows talaga unfortunately i'm that girl yeah so now i'm gonna be curling my lashes but then i'm not gonna be wearing mascara because you don't have I'm actually a... gonna be curling my lashes too. I have to do this like I curl my lashes before I put on mascara just to have them like stand out already. And when you curl your lashes well you oh god. This is the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. It? Yeah, it's really good. This is waterproof, but this is so good because you can easily remove it with just um, water. micellar water. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like water-based makeup remover or like oil-based. It's just like, see the difference? Can you see the difference? Yeah. And it smells so good. Like I talked about this in like my favorites with you for our next question while she's doing her mascara what is your favorite childhood book dork diaries narnia i read all seven books twice i've just been so fascinated with having like a different world so top three favorite movies Ooh, ooh. Never Back Down, Les Miserables, um, The Choice by Nicholas Sparks. Something that I really read. No, because I also love the book, okay? so I really like that. 
while she's answering her favorite movie, I'm gonna be misting my face with the um, Beauty Mist by Anne Clothes. Um, my top three favorite movies are The Notebook, Mean Girls, OG, Girl Movie, whatever you call it, and The Fault in Our Stars. Mmm, The Fault in Our Stars. It's gonna keep curling my lashes to make it like stand out even more. Sometimes I just brush it off like that. Keep the hairs in place. And then lift it up. Answer more questions while she's getting herself done. Are you old fashioned? Well if you mean like I'm inspired by vintage. Yes. Me, I don't know. Like I, with, when it comes to fashion, I always just go for the basics and I something the that, oh the ba, something that matches my body type. So she can't spray it. <laughs> See, it smells so good. Last two questions before we do a montage. <laughs> What's something that people think makes them look cool but actually has the opposite effect? Ah, uh, when when someone can't be corrected. Amen. Like, the thing is, no matter how old you are, no matter how young you are, like, life is a constant learning um, situation. So, when someone tells you that, hey, you can't just, like, walk around, say, sh like this and stuff like that, you can't be offended by that because not everyone will get your kind of yeah I mean. principle and i feel like that's just more of like just being civilized human being you know you have to like respect other people and not be like oh this is who i am so i'm just gonna be like this like you can't yeah, you can't just you can you just go around and act thinking. like an act or a bitch everyone has to adjust yeah like not and again if you feel like everyone needs to adjust to you like no. Everyone also is like adjusting to everyone. Everyone knows that there's like a certain level of like decency when it comes to like speaking and stuff like that. It, it's not wrong to take correction. It's not wrong to be wrong. It's not wrong to be wrong. Like you should be open to like being wrong. Yeah. If you were told you only had one week left to live, what would you do? I'd probably try to make the most out of it. Like. I'll meet my friends and be with my family, but at the same time, I feel like I'd still be doing the same thing, which is like being alone. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I think with everything that happened, I think I would say my last um, thoughts towards people. Yeah, with friends, I would be, I think I would like say my last piece to people. And I would bring out my books, the books that I've written, I've even if they, they, yeah, even I've if they're not, even if they're not like published or whatever. Like I've wrote a lot, but it's just hidden under the <laughs> under the covers of the world. The world. The world. Okay, so this, this is, is now our final. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye!